All right, we got the mat out and the lights up, but only one dog out. The saddest looking dog of them all. Well, welcome to the dog house. My name is Jessica. I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Um, it's actually going to be just towards Gunner today, um, which is probably gonna make the other dogs very, very upset, which I feel like they get upset anyways. Gunner, do you have any clue of what I'm talking about? No? So because um, a lot of people think that Gunner is um, neglected and not as much loved here at the doghouse, which um, is maybe only partially true. Just kidding. We don't neglect him and I don't know about that L word, but um, we'll go, we'll get there one day. Right, Gunner? So rough with you, huh? Well, there's a reason. Gunner is actually super rough. And it's part of the problem that he used to have. And it's also part of why he's even in here in the first place. Why he came to stay with us, which is, I guess to him, a good thing. Um, so because Gunner is actually probably our roughest dog that we have, besides Dexter. Dexter is, um, he is about to be seven. So we have to understand that part about him, but Dexter definitely has a lot of drive and passion for killing things. But let me tell you what, when it comes to toys, it <laughs> when it comes to toys, these little golden retriever teeth definitely take the cake on who's going to, Zuko. Gunner definitely takes the cake on who's actually the roughest on toys. Dexter's faster, but let me tell you what, give Gunner a few minutes and he is really, really into it. Hey, it's not about you today. Again, I guess. You're enough. All right, so Gunner, we decided to go ahead and since we do get a bark box all the time and we do the pup box now with Zuko, um, we went ahead and got Gunner the bully make box. So the bully make box, I mean, I guess I should say we were given the bully make box. Um, they contacted me and we decided that it would be a great opportunity to really um, let Gunner go to town on what is supposed to be made uh, as very, very tough toys for your power chewers. So I was excited to accept this box. Um, I went ahead and we were gonna do it geared with Gunner and we're gonna put it to the test. Obviously, once this is all done, the toys are shared between everybody. But um, yeah, so let's get into the box. And thank you, Bully Make, for sending us this box for a honest review. So let's honestly review it, Gunner. Are you gonna destroy the box and the toys? Or is it gonna, is it gonna defeat you? Oh, are you ready? Are you ready, Gunner? I, th I think he's ready. All right, buddy. I wonder if they made their box tough too. Zuko's really heavy. Oh gosh. Well, the box is stronger, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you gonna get it or push push it under more? You're using both sides. That's way smarter than I gave you credit for. So let me get it out. Bully make, there you go. You got the box. We'll go ahead and judge this box. It's, uh, it's gunner proof. And everybody might be like, oh, the golden retriever has got, like, why would he have the hardest chew? And it's like, well, he really does because he's got a lot of will. There you go. This dog has got more. He just, he wants it. He wants things so bad. He's a die trying kind of dog. So there's that. Also, remember, I mean, yeah, your your other dogs are gonna have more, like Dexter's got more muscle in the jaw and everything, and your pities and bullies and stuff like that have 
stronger jaw, like they have more muscles, but, um, oh, he's getting it open. And there's no such thing as locked jaw, y'all. Good job. But also remember, this is not a, this is not a movie dog. This is not a family pet. Golden Retrievers are working dogs. And they're, what you got? What do you got? Oh, you can, oh, okay, they're all like packaged. All right, so that's the first thing out. Actually, oh, I actually don't know, wait. I don't know how many, <laughs> I don't know how many items come in here. Wait, so wait, looks like this. Um, it's a very sturdy. <laughs> okay, very sturdy little dinosaur bone. This is really cool. Um, and by the way, this is their June box. This was their June. They do it. It's, it's a monthly subscription box. Actually, I probably should go over that. Um, oh, if you don't know, well, let's go ahead and go. Ahead. Let's go. While he's losing that toy, or coming back for more. Let's take a look at what's in here and I'll go ahead and explain to you what bully, the Bully Make box is, which you might already know um, or can guess. It is a subscription box, a monthly subscription box um, that you can assign your dog to and they go according to size and they actually do an allergy reference if your dogs have any. Okay, so these are the treats, so we'll go over that in a minute. Um, okay, so like three bags of treats in here. Um, so we'll look at those, fun. Uh, anyway, subscription box, but it's for it, your more powerful chewers. So, and we all know the Bark Box has great toys and everything. Um, this is not the same company, of course, either. And, um, but this is more if you have a dog that just really shreds the stuffies too much, or even possibly it, the whole. The bad thing about that is not only is it annoying because you're buying uh, toys and stuff all the time for them, but did you lose that toy? <laughs> So there's more in here. Okay, so it's like this one's like a bone. It's, it feels like, oh gosh, it feels, wait, sit. It feels like this, wait, same picture, or picture, texture, um, but it's in the nice shape of a bone. This does feel kind of like a nice dental. Okay, you're just gonna lose that one too. Um, the next thing is the cool, this is, oh, this is awesome. It's a, it's a, I'm, you know, everybody knows I'm a treat dispensing fool or treat dispensing toy fool. Gunner, how is that? And it's super, super, like feels really, yep, and it's, I mean, it smells like a tire. So I'm assuming it's probably made from like tire material, which is um, a good thing. Ooh, and can be very strong. So, and it's, and it feels like, and it's not like a little, sometimes when you get the off brands like this of treat dispensing toys, it's like a little, the opening is just like a tube inside. That's like really hollowed out. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there, which I like. Well, I guess he likes that. Gunner, it's your color green. It's fun, it's like a football. Ooh, can I have it? No? Oh. Can you put it in my hand? Do you, do you wanna put it in my hand, Gunner? No? Wow, you're so nice and such a family dog. You should be in a movie. Okay, so anyways, okay, so it's like a dinosaur themed or bone. Okay, I get this. So bones is probably like a, supposed to be a fossil. Okay. Oh, and that's like a dinosaur egg. How fun! I just realized that. <laughs> All right, let's look over these treats while he's distracted. Um, but wait, why is the lens the first thing you guys smell? I don't get it. Down. If you if you want to be involved, down. Thanks. All right, so the first one is these lovely lamb bites made by Bully, or Bully Make. Um, let's see, lamb, sweet potato, potato starch. Okay, not super, not super bad stuff. Um, I do believe I actually did tell them about the chicken, so I, I shouldn't be, oh, I like this. Oh, these are great. They look like, uh, no, wait. Ta-da. Um, well, Gunner, do you have to be the same color as the dang cookie? Oh, so it's kind of, look who's here. Um, it's kind of like a, it's a cookie. It's very soft. 
like breakable. Very, it's not a chewy treat, but like, um, funny enough, it's soft. This is a power chewer box, but I'm actually really stoked because that means I can share those with like Lila and Zuko who don't always have the best, um, the best time chewing cookies. Okay, so this is the next one. I already ripped it open. Bully Make Stew Chews. So I don't know what this is because there's no clear window at all. Um, some lamb pea powder. Okay, so, and pork. Okay, so lamb and pork. So we no chicken stuff, which is great. Okay, so these are the more traditional, what I like to call stink weight. Open, oh, they do stink. Wait, not bad though. Like bad for a dog. Where is it? Okay, so they look like this, and they're in a weird little shape that I don't understand, but um, yeah, soft as you can see. Um, and he's gonna like them a lot. Oh, good. Uh, here, I oh, you know what I'll do. Oh, this is really slimy now. <laughs> slimy and slippery, so hey! We're gonna stick these in here, and then Gunner can do that. So the last little bag, our Bully Make Valentines, that's a little off the month, but whatever, off holiday. Doesn't matter, it's food. Oh, ooh, it smells good. And it's, um, so this is beef. Beef and pork again too, so, and like, you know, the other stuff. And it's again, stinky soft treats, um, and they break. Oh, kind of easily. Shitty, you want one? Papa, you want one? Poppy, you want the box? It's a very, ooh. All right, gonna, oh, let's try it. All right, so that was really cool. I actually, I'm, um, well, I wish we, I gotta go get that toy out of the couch, but I will uh, momentarily. Uh, what I was saying, which I actually really wanted to say is that if the reason why, so my dogs get the bark box. What was that? My dogs get, and it's under the couch. My dogs get bark box. Oh my God. I don't know if I got that on camera, whatever. Um, my dogs get bark box and they're allowed, it's basically just a party and it's fun for them and they get their box and they just, they, they destroy the toys eventually. And if they, hey. So I like the bark box and everything, but what I wanted to say earlier was that um, some dogs do actually, when they destroy the stuff, the stuffed animals and stuff like that, they, um, not just bark box, but any plushy toy, um, they tend to actually eat the stuffing. Uh, my dogs will tear it apart and have a good party, but they will not actually try to ingest the stuffing. It's literally just to make a mess, basically. Not that they're thinking that same, you know, same way but anyways um this this is a great box i think for dogs that if you want to you know make keep it safe um and they don't have toys that are if they can't have toys that are stop or that are soft and full of stuffing um so you can avoid anything any accidents like that this is a great box and he's gonna take that now that it's got treats in it so all right there's everything all of our, our other parts of the loot the nice hard toys and our treats of course that the other dogs will get their own fair share of and I was um already impressed with how the box held up <laughs> so I'm pretty sure these toys will hold up quite well as well so thank you guys for watching if you um liked this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on things that we do reviews on and also of course just daily life fun and experiments um and a little bit of training advice here and there uh, thanks you guys for watching hit that like button comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one